What's up, y'all? I want to welcome y'all back to AD Cooks. And on the menu today is a classic fried chicken sandwich. Easy, simple, y'all. Uh, what we have in front of us, uh, off to the side, you probably won't see it because of the way the camera is positioned. But I have me some boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Uh, you can use chicken breasts. Like I say, chicken breast is healthier. I like using thighs in this recipe. And uh, what we have in front of us is a bowl. What we're gonna do is start with um, sort of like a marinade to make our chicken tender and juicy. So we're gonna put in some buttermilk to start off with. Gonna take us one egg. No shells in there. I don't think the recipe calls for shells in it. <clears throat> We're gonna take us some garlic powder. Some paprika. Onion powder. And a little bit of salt. And this is like our marinade for our chicken. Okay, once you have your buttermilk and your seasonings mixed together well, what we're gonna do is take our boneless, skinless chicken thighs and submerge it into it. And what we wanna do is cover this with some saran wrap, put it in the refrigerator for about two hours and voila. All right, now we're gonna start on a flour mixture. All I'm doing is taking a little bit of all-purpose flour. This should be about enough, because I just got three pieces of chicken thighs. We're gonna take us, <coughs> excuse me, we're gonna take us some black pepper. Smoke pepper, rica, my favorite type of paprika. I'm gonna take us a little bit of onion powder. Garlic powder. some Old Bay seasoning. And if I can find it, take us a spoon and just kind of blend this mixture together. Now we're gonna start on our sriracha sauce that we're gonna put on our fried chicken sandwich. First, we're gonna start off, and I did this before for you all. What I'm gonna do is start off with about a tablespoon of mayo. A little bit more in there. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of sriracha into it. It's real simple, y'all. Not a difficult type of situation going on. Uh, we're gonna put a little bit of dill into this. Fresh parsley. And some sh shallots. And mix 
all of this together. If you want it spicier, add more sriracha. After chicken has marinated, what we want to do is take our chicken and kind of let it drain off a little bit. Some of that buttermilk. to the flour. And you just want to make sure you get flour in every uh, nick and cranny of this uh, chicken thigh. two pieces of uh, chicken thighs. All right, we're back. Let's get frying. Uh, what I have is a pot full of uh, vegetable oil and we have our chicken that has been sitting to the side on the rack. We're gonna go ahead and throw these in here. Chicken is still frying. We're going to go ahead and uh, flip it over. Alright guys, our chicken is floating. That's a sign that uh, the chicken is done. And it's been on there for about maybe eight minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and pull our chicken out. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put our fried chicken sandwich together. And uh, first we're gonna start off with a artisan bun. That's what I'm using. We're gonna take this uh, sriracha mayo that we made earlier. I'm gonna add us three pickles. take our perfectly fried pieces of chicken that we cooked, place on our bun. Well, I also, I didn't do this on camera, but what I did was I took me some iceberg lettuce, chopped iceberg lettuce, and I poured a little pickle juice on it. So I have like, sort of like a coleslaw, a pickle juice coleslaw. Top, put some more of that mayo on the top bun. And 
with the crown. All right, guys, I went ahead and cut it down the middle off camera, and these are the ending results to our classic chicken sandwich. And I really appreciate you all for tuning in. I want to welcome all the new subscribers, and uh, we really appreciate it, and peace.